okay, I'm gonna answer the question of, does the Bible teach socialism? And obviously the answer is no, it doesn't. So what is socialism? According to the Merriam-Webster's dictionary, socialism is any of various economic and political theories advocating collective or governmental ownership and administration of the means of production and distribution of goods. Now, is this taught in the, in the Bible? Governmental ownership of the means of production. Is this taught in the Bible? No, it's not. Scripture teaches that people have to work and earn their own goods and food. You can see 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10, 1 Timothy 5, 8, 1 Timothy 5, 17, 18, and Ephesians 4, 28. Second definition of socialism. We'll see the second definition is, is scriptural either. And, and newsflash, it's not. So second definition, according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, a system or society or group living in which there, are no, there is no private property. Now, is the idea of no private property, is that scriptural? No, it's not. Private property ownership is biblical. You can see Exodus chapter 22, verse 1, Proverbs 19, 14, and Numbers chapter 27, verse 7 to 10. So the bottom line is, is that socialism is not scriptural at all. It's not taught in the Bible. The Bible does not teach socialism. So I wanted to get that out there. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.